American singer and actress Cher has a net worth of $360 million. She has been referred to as the goddess of pop and is often seen as representing female independence in a male-dominated field. Cher rose to fame in 1965 as one half of the folk rock couple Sonny and Cher after their song, I Got You Babe, topped the charts in both the United States and the United Kingdom. They had amassed a global record sales total of 40 million by the end of 1967. And Time Magazine dubbed them the It Duo in Rock. Hello and welcome to Pro Luxury Exhibitions. In today's brand new video, we are looking at Cher's luxury lifestyle, net worth, biography, career, cars, houses, and many more. Stick around for the whole gist. On May 20, 1946, Cher was born in El Cerrito, California. Cher, also known as Sherilyn Sarkisian, did not have a happy upbringing. She struggled with dyslexia and dropped out of high school, which led her to meet Sonny Bono, a musician. They clicked right away, and they finally got married. Sonny and Cher established themselves as a recording combo under that name. Their most well-known hit, I've Got You Babe, was released in 1965. Up until the 1970s, the duo produced songs together. Soon after, Cher launched her career. Two of her numerous hit songs include Believe and Strong Enough. As an accomplished actress, Cher has had leading roles in movies like Moonstruck, The Witches of Eastwick, and Mask. Cher won a 1987 Golden Globe and an Academy Award for Moonstruck. Cher is a captivating performer who has put out more than 20 studio albums. Although she is frequently referred to as a gay icon, it is obvious that she has a large and diverse following. Cher is a legendary figure who is still actively involved in entertainment and charitable endeavors. From 1980 to 1982, Cher had a residency in Las Vegas where she was paid $300,000. Beginning in 2008, she performed as the headlining act for three years at the Coliseum at Caesars, generating an estimated $180 million in revenue. Heart of Stone, released in 1989, Love Hurts in 1991, and Believe, released in 1998, all peaked at number one in several nations, including Australia, Austria, Canada, and Germany. Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves, Half Breed, Dark Lady, After All, If I Could Turn Back Time, The Shoop Shoop Song, It's In Her Kiss, Believe, Strong Enough, All or Nothing, and more songs have all reached the top of the charts for her. She is a real estate tycoon as well. Kindly support our channel by hitting the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't done so already. Thank you. The diva and her then-husband Sonny Bono made their first significant purchase together in 1967 when they acquired an apartment on Franklin Avenue. Tony Curtis sold the couple the home which had seven bedrooms and nine baths for $250,000. The house was listed for sale by the couple in 1969 and several people have lived there since then. It was sold for $23.5 million in 2017. Cher and her husband paid $750,000 for the Owlwood Estates, one of her larger estates in 1974. The house was originally constructed in 1936. According to Gracia, the Robert Farquhar designed 10-acre estate featured nine bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, a pool house, numerous gardens, and two guardhouses. The house was most recently sold in 2016 for a staggering 90 million and afterward listed for 115 million. She bought a solitary and remote home in Beverly Hills, Upper Benedict Canyon Enclave, after divorcing her husband Sonny. 
The stunning outdoor area on the 14-acre property included a pool, tennis court, flower beds, and rolling meadows. Cher had given Eddie Murphy a beautiful home, which had 11 bedrooms and 17 baths, in exchange for $6.3 million in 1988. While spending a year in London in the 1990s, Cher made the decision to rent an exclusive property there. The singer appreciated the Gothic-style residence in the Oliver's Wharf building, which was turned from a warehouse into a structure and has since been gradually refurbished into a modern structure. Every famous person loves a beach house, and Cher paid $1.5 million for her beach house in Miami, Florida in 1993. The villa, which was completed in 1953, was reportedly surrounded by scattered palm trees, had several courtyards, and had a private terrace with access to the beach. It includes six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, and was most recently listed for $15.5 million in 2017. In 2006, the artist invested $3 million in an apartment in the Sierra Towers. Sandra Bullock and Sir Elton John both dwell in this residential building, and her flat was a two-unit duplex with glam furnishings in a Balinese style. When the singer allegedly intended to relocate to London, she sold the house in 2013 for $5.3 million. Cher still lives in the custom-made Malibu home she built in 1999. The expansive property is kilometers long and has a tennis court, a swimming pool, a backyard, and the main house. She repeatedly posted the house on the market, one for $41 million but she removed it off the market and has since continued to live there. Cher has demonstrated a significant interest in the real estate market with her purchases of opulent and modest residence, ranging from early properties that have appreciated in value over time to designing her own dwellings. Cher, a proactive activist in every way, recently declared that she would welcome Ukrainian migrants into her house. Now let's talk about Cher's cars. Their zeal and vibrancy mirrored the burgeoning young culture, a dynamic that Ford successfully tapped into with the 1964 Mustang. Ford combined the two by removing two 1966 Mustang convertibles with virtually consecutive serial numbers from the San Jose production line for Sonny and Cher and handing them over to George Barris the renowned king of customizers for customization in keeping with Sonny and Cher's onstage personas. Both vehicles came pre-installed with powertrains that included the tried and true 289 CI small block V8 engine and a C4 automatic transmission. Externally, both cars got repositioned flush mounted door handles, dual simulated hood scoops, and widened wheel wells. Additionally, dual apertures and rectangular headlamps were both significant changes to the frontal appearance. At the back, two large Ford Thunderbird taillights continued this design trend. Both vehicles had distinctive Raider custom wheels, which shares wheels sporting a complex, multi-spoke design. Barris is known for using 40 layers of lacquer paint and Cher's Mustang has a candy red and hot pink pearl finish, combined with a matching fadeaway treatment. Cher's car has deep red suede side panels, whereas both vehicles have them. Even more ornate, decor can be found inside. The interior of Cher's automobile is upholstered in black old Scottish leather, with hot pink suede trim and white ermine fur. Both vehicles also have luxurious 3-inch Mouton fur carpeting, with shares being hot pink. These Mustangs have extremely low mileage, and George Barris gave his full and enthusiastic support to their restorations. It has a sizable collection of Sunny and Cher items included. Unfortunately, she doesn't own the car anymore. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments down below. I'd love to help. Also, 
If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this and much more. We will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.